guys, Katie from Superior Science here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys about pollution and then we're going to do a fun activity together to demonstrate just what happens when we pollute our water. Let's get So what is water pollution? Water pollution can be defined as when harmful substances, so often chemicals or microorganisms, enter into a body of water and contaminate it, rendering it toxic for humans or the environment. What are the causes of water pollution? Well, water is unfortunately really easy to pollute. It's known as a universal solvent, so this means that it dissolves more substances than any other liquid on Earth. So this is what allows us to have Kool-Aid, and this is what allows us to swim in those beautiful lakes in the summer. It's also why water is so easily polluted. Toxic runoff from farms, towns, factories, or other buildings can readily enter the water supply and mix with it, causing it to become contaminated. As well, sometimes some humans simply just don't care for their environment, and they'll throw waste and other contaminants into the water. Yuck! How can we help? It may seem like we're young and we can't make a huge difference, but we all have to start somewhere. And even doing the simplest things can make a huge difference for our environment. So some of these things include taking short showers, making sure to clean up after ourselves when we're outside, and never dumping any waste or other types of liquids into the environment. Now that we've done a simple lesson, it's time to see what happens to our little buddy, Freddy the fish, when he encounters water pollution. This is Freddy the fish. He is a happy fish that lives in crystal clear water, enjoys the shade of the tall trees along the riverbank, and gets lots of insects to munch on each day. How do you think Freddy feels? So this is Freddy in his little river. So I took a Tupperware and I filled it with water and I cut a sponge out into the shape of a fish and give him a little smile. So this is what Freddy looks like when he's in his home in his part of the river that he usually stays in. One day, Freddy wondered what was beyond his little part of the river. He decided to go on a little journey and explore. He heads on downstream. He's ready to see the world. Along the river, Freddy first comes across a spot where bulldozers are taking out trees and clearing land. Soil and dirt roll into the river because there are no tree roots to hold the soil in place. Poor Freddy gets soil in his gills. Without the trees, Freddy notices he is feeling warmer. So, Freddy has just swam part of the place where the bulldozers were dumping soil into the water, so I'm just going to take my little cup of soil. I'm going to add that in. So as you can see, he's starting to get pretty dirty and he doesn't look too happy anymore because there's soil in his river. As Freddy continues down the river, he spots some black and white animals moving closer and closer to the river. While these animals are getting a drink, they drop a present into the water for Freddy. Freddy is not impressed with the smell or that the sediment is being stirred up. So now Freddy has moved on down the river a little bit and he's come to the place where the animals are drinking from the water. And now they've dropped a little present into the water. So now you're just gonna add in your raisins. So it's starting to look pretty yucky. There's lots going on in the water there. And then I just kind of mixed it a little bit because as you can see, it's floating and you can't really see the water too much anymore. But yeah, so little Freddy is starting to go under the water because he's not too happy with the way the water is looking. As Freddy rounds the corner, he has to dodge a golf ball that nearly lands in the river. The golf club likes to keep their courses looking nice, so they use a lot of fertilizer. Unfortunately, when it rained last, it caused it to run off into the river. So now Freddy's gone past the part where the fertilizer is going into the river, so you're just going to add your green liquid here. So I'm just going to pour that in. 
Oh, and it's kind of starting to make the water look a murky green color there. So this is from the fertilizer. And Freddy is looking even more sad than he was before. He's kind of getting under the soil there because there's lots of blockage in the river. Freddy noticed that this area had a lot of tall plants growing and actually was starting to feel smothered. However, Freddy is a trooper and charged on. He was determined to see all that the river had to offer. After a while of swimming, Freddy began to notice a salty taste to the water and he started to feel the sting of salt in his gills. All the salt that was used on the roads in the winter had worked its way into the river. Ouch! It's hurting! How do you think Freddy is feeling? As Freddy kept going, he eventually reached the salty water, so now you're just gonna pour your salt in. Ooh. <laughs> so as you can see, the water is looking pretty gross now. So the salt water is what was hurting his gills, so he's kind of covered in salt there, and he's not feeling too great right now. Freddy continues on and passes a picnic site at a local park. As he was passing, the wind began blowing litter into the river from the park. So now he's passing by the park, so the wind was blowing litter into the river, so you're just going to add your little paper. Oh no, we can barely see Freddy anymore, he's trapped under the litter. So clearly he's not feeling too great, he's feeling pretty gross, and he can't breathe too well, and he's having a hard time swimming because of all the blockage. Freddy is starting to feel a bit distressed, but he keeps moving on. It begins to rain, and Freddy notices this rain is different. It turns out this rain is acid rain, caused by the air pollution. So Freddy's pretty determined, so he kept going. But now he's passed by the acid rain, so you're just going to add your dish soap. So it's kind of like sludge now, as you can see. So Freddy's like almost completely covered. He can barely see where he's going, and there's lots of pollution in the water, so he's having a really hard time here. Along the river edge, Freddy comes across an old abandoned factory. There are a lot of toxic pollutants and rusty materials seeping into the river. This creates a sludge in the river. Freddy tries to swim through it. So now Freddy's gonna be passing by the abandoned factory. So we're gonna add our coffee. So this is like the sludge from the factory. So he's trying to swim through it and he's clearly having a really hard time because we can barely see Freddy now because there's so much pollution in the water. After struggling, Freddy finally gets through the toxic pollutants in the river. Along the side of the river, Freddy notices a man dumping oil from his car into the river. The oil gets into his gills and he starts to have difficulty breathing. He gasps and takes his last breath. So now that Freddy finally got through the toxic pollutants from the factory, he's passing down the river again and he sees a man dumping oil from his car into the river. So now I'm just gonna add my syrup. So as you can see, we can barely see Freddy anymore, so he's not feeling too great. He's having difficulty breathing, and we can barely see him. There's so many pollutants in the river. Here is a picture of my final product. So as you can see, you can barely see Freddy anymore. And so this represents what happens to our water when we pollute it, and how dangerous this is for the environment.